Hey everybody and welcome back to Age of Strife. So, um, Luther goes back into the house to talk to Ginger and Stefan heads out to check with the guards at the gate. Um, the gate is really close. So let's just do that first. It's like 250 feet, not even. Um, so you can yeah. take a, a nice casual jaunt down to the gate where the two guards on duty see you come in, uh, see you make an eye contact and give you a, a nod of acknowledgement. Morning, guards. Uh, have you uh, had any more problems from uh, werewolves? No, my lord. Everything seems to be squared away. Good, good. Uh, just a quick question. Um, have there been any carriages that have left uh, town no, this morning? No. No? No. Okay. A couple of locals. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Uh, that is all. Enjoy your day. Hmm. Just, just, just worried about the werewolves and concerned that there, there may be more floating around. Hmm. Still... Werewolves in carriages? No, but obviously the roads just got a lot more unsafer. Ah. It's good to stay abreast. You know, uh, we are the ones that uh, are, are trying to assist and, well, uh, assist you fine gentlemen in, on your work. We appreciate it, Lord. It's difficult to get good help with uh, violent problems these days. I'm sure you heard about the men showing up on the river. I know yes. maybe the other people... I hope this isn't out of line. I know the other families don't treat you all that well, but I want you to let, let you know that us here watching the walls do appreciate your swordsmanship and your efforts to keep this town safe. Makes our job a lot easier. Very good. Yeah, I think you'll find that uh, while we may have had a change of stature, uh, there is a reason why the other families don't accept us, and you know, we still remember our roots. Have a good day, sir. You too. Okay. Um, and I rush rush back to to the uh, the estate. All right. So uh, back at the estate, Luther, um, you probably. Tell Ginger what's going on, hopefully. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I kind of let her in on it as I'm running off to my own room to dress up. Also, uh, they've been having some gambling debts, have they? Uh, that's what the story is, anyway. I'm not really positive about the whole validity of the story, but either way, if there's wealth to be found, I'll try to get it. And, uh, why are you in such a hurry? Uh, he said that the carriage may still be in the northern market, and I'd like to go scout it out, see how many men are around, what they're doing, who they are, possibly. Oh, alright. Uh, northern market, let's see. That means it has to cross the, the bridge, right? Yes. Come on. Uh, well, if you go have a look, uh, I'll I'll go uh, go have a pop around the, the central market and keep my eye out for carriages. Okay. And just so you know, we're, if we are going to assault it and try to take it back, that's all going to happen outside of town. So don't tr don't cause a ruckus or anything. Oh. Well, you know me. I I never leave house without my armor and spear. <laughs> Uh. Oh, Neil, just on that, with the other possible candidates, if they're traveling out in the countryside, would they also have guards of their own? You would expect a... yeah. So, uh, when, like when the werewolves came through and you saw the people leaving in their fancy-ass carriages, uh, they left with soldiers guarding them. So usually when a noble family travels, they... Travel with protection. They're bandits yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, what about the, what about the non-noble families that have the wealth? I'm guessing they employ mercenaries? Yeah, they would have usually have some sort of guards, usually not the same caliber or quantity as the fancier families. Um, well, quantity maybe, but not caliber. You know, the fancier families will have maybe a knight with them and then some foot soldiers. The other people have whatever sort of sell swords they can round up. 
Oh, that's what we, we need our own knight, guys. Just want to put that out there. You guys are yeah. going to be the knights. Maybe. Oh. Can, we can't knight anyone, can we? That's the countess who does it. Correct. If I spread my seed around a little bit more, there might be bastards and we can have knights. <laughs> Stopping the werewolf. Easy. I don't know how much we'd gain from that, but anyway. Luther dresses up as a mercenary, by the way. Okay. So he gets all his armor on, he gets his sword, he gets his shield. Okay. Um, and then off through the town? Yeah. Yeah, after leaving the, the noble district, I'll let uh, Luther leave ahead of me and I'll slow down. All right, so yeah, what is your role here, Ginger? I'm going to the central market where I'll just peruse the stalls for a bit and I'll wait for Luther to come back or maybe even blow a horn. Um, and while I'm in the central market, I can go like maybe go look at the sheriff's office. Okay. Um, so the party heads on up, uh, except for Stefan, who I think is staying at home, heads on up through the central market. Uh, um, there are some things I wanted to do, Neil, as well, but uh, at some point. Sure. Let's get I'm going to stay then. separated. Um, from... All right, Luther, you're heading to the northern market, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so when you cross the bridge, you do, in fact, see the carriage parked out in front of... Um, it's right between the Sweetwater and the Jolly Goblet. There's kind of a, a big open space back there yeah. where... Uh, there's a, sometimes you would have like stables or something. Um, not quite stables, but like areas to hold horses or equipment. Um, mm -hmm. And sure enough, right next to the Jolly Goblet, facing out, getting ready to leave, is the the carriage from the Genhall family. It's got two horses um, attached up to it. And you see a couple of guys leaning against the carriage, kind of chatting to each other, dressed in Genhall uh, tabards. Mm. Okay. So I'm gonna walk up to the Jolly Goblet and just kind of lean on the wall by the door. Just kind of mm -hmm. hang out there. Okay. Uh, down south a little bit. Ginger, you said you're going to the sheriff's office? I, I would like to stay in the market area, but have a look at the sheriff's office I, I know that Stefan's visiting there at some point. Okay. But, uh, basically, I'm going to just like hop around the stalls and browse. Sure. Maybe um, pick up like some exotic uh, snacks if there's any on offer. Not much in the way of exotic snacks these days. Uh, mm. Pretty hard time. But there's plenty of things to offer in the market and things to sell. And you spend like 25 gold a month on something. So uh, you go shopping. I'm trying to overhear the conversation they're having. Give either. me a perception check. Okay. 13, 12. Yeah. There we right. go. So you hear conversation going something along the lines of, can you believe it? Fucking werewolves. And what the hell is this town coming to? I can't wait to get the hell out of here. Yeah, and those elves? People just floating down the river? Man, this place is going to shit. Well, you know, it's been going to shit for... Well, since before I was born. Seriously. So do you think it's going to be any trouble leaving town? No, probably not. Same as shit as always. Well, what about the road south? You think there are werewolves out in the, the, the Meadowlands? No, 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 no. Werewolves just live in the forest. I'm like, it's in town now. Anyway, do you hear what Marta was saying about the... And they kind of just go off on other conversation about people you don't quite know. Talking about probably friends or family members. Um, it seems like the general sort of small talk that people have when they're just waiting for something to happen. Okay. Well, <laughs> after I've heard all that, I just kind of stop leaning on the wall and I walk back across the bridge 
Towards the central market. Okay. Uh, you yeah. see Ginger walking around in her armor and weapons. Okay. Um, you yeah, see I, the I... shopkeepers that she walks up to seem a little nervous, and as she approaches a stall, usually other people start to shift away from it a little bit. Uh, um, okay. She is heavily armed and walking around the central market. It's making people uncomfortable. Um, in comparison to a town guard, how armed would I be in chainmail, shield, and spear? Uh, more heavily armed. The town guard okay. wears, I think, <laughs> leather armor. They're broke. Um, yeah, they wear leather armor with spears, and a few of them have bows. So you've got chainmail and a shield. Um, yeah. And then you probably have, what, like daggers and backup weapons as well? No, usually when I'm going to battle, I take uh, the donkey, which carries my spears, but when I'm walking, just one spear. Okay. So yeah. Uh, you've got the spear, you've got a shield as well, which is a big deal, and you've got the chain armor on. Yeah. So it's a, a pretty formidable sight. You're you know, the most heavily armed person walking around town right now. Hmm. Well, I, if I see her, I kind of pull her aside hmm. and try to get somewhere. Probably not going to be overheard, but it doesn't matter too much. I mean, it's a big noisy market. You know, there's yeah. people all around. You can just speak quietly and not be overheard. Yeah, so I say, uh, the people with the carriage, it might still be the Genhals. I don't know if... Uh, excuse you may have been me. Do, do I know you? <laughs> no, just kidding. Of course I know you. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I give you, like, a, a glare as you do that. <laughs> anyway, well, um... I think we may have been lied to. We need to go back and... Talk to Stefan, and then probably talk to the Genhals. Try to get in and see Sarah. So, um, the the Genhals and the Green Dolls are messing with us. It seems, or one of them is, right? Who knows? But okay, we'll find out. Hmm. So, uh, I Stefan was going to visit the sheriff and uh, didn't want to mess with his, uh, I don't know, it's a bit of a bromance, so I'm not going there. Did he actually go there or did he stay at the house? Uh, he's, he, he said he was visit, visit the sheriff on his own. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, so either way, I'm going back to the estate. Okay. Uh, so let's slip over to Stefan. What were you doing, Stefan? Um, uh, firstly, what do I know about Lady Zera? Uh, Lady Zera is the head of the Genhal family. Uh, I thought that was Zara is the head. Uh, Zara is the head. Miss no, Zara is the head. Zara is the the person charged. Sorry. Uh, which one are you asking about? Uh, the daughter. The daughter. The, the okay. one. The, the one. The one that gambled. The one that we're having right, this right. arrangement with. Um. Well, maybe not now. She's a uh, late twenties. Um, you know, she's the heir. Uh, you don't know her too well personally. You've seen her at plenty of things and around town, and at the few times you have been invited to large get-togethers for nobles, you've maybe had a few words with her, but not much. Just one of the figures around town. All right. Very good. Uh, my intention was to uh, 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 actually, uh, yeah, but I probably won't. I was kind of thinking about involving the socialites. Yeah, they would have more information about her. They would be more adept at. Well, theoretically, before taking up the adventuring path, I would have been a socialite. I'm guessing, to a large degree. Uh, yeah, I guess at some level. Hmm. Uh, otherwise, I mean, if, if, if our socialites are as banned as what we are from, from gatherings, then they're pretty useless. Yeah, they're a little bit more friendly than the three of you. What are you saying? I'm not friendly? <laughs> <laughs> and since they're a little bit more removed from the line of power, they're a little bit, they don't have to keep up appearances quite so much. So they can hang out and relax and, you know, they don't have the responsibilities and then they relax with the other people who aren't in the main power structure. Um, Although now I do have an etiquette proficiency and uh, and uh, and dancing proficiency, so yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think they, they used to call me Twinkle Toes. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm probably going to go speak with um, uh, Mother. Uh, now you said that she had died, but 
I don't have that on there. I thought she was still alive. No, no, your I father has remarried. Our, our birth mother died, and yeah. Yeah. Ah, right, gotcha. All right, cool. So now I'll go speak with uh, Mary and Isabel and, well, Sarah to a degree. Okay. Um, you can gather them together or speak with them individually as you please. Yeah, I'll, I'll just grab the first one I find. Sure. Um, you are speaking to Mary. Mother, um, had a rather interesting encounter from a servant of the generals. Oh? Who... No, very, very hush hush. Apparently, um, the lady Zara um, lost her carriage in the game of chance. Apparently, it might have the game again. Hmm. Lost the family uh, carriage in a game of chance. Apparently, so. And the servant said that, um, uh, that we have been tasked with um, uh, retrieving the, the, the carriage out in the wild. So, obviously, the, 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 uh, the, the, the the thought behind that was uh, they want us to murder these individuals. Now, obviously, there's only a, sp a small group of people that could actually be responsible for that. So, this seems very, Maybe very a small interesting. group of people. Well, how many people could afford to deplete the resources of a noble family to the point where they put up their own carriages as collateral? That's that's high stakes. Who in this town can deliver those high stakes? I don't know if it's all that unlikely. Um, you know, before I met your father, back when I was just another commoner, uh, my my father used to gamble sometimes. You start with a, a few coins, and before you know it, you're out a few gold pieces, and you try and make it back, and you lose a few more gold pieces trying to make back the initial gold you lost. And yeah, that, 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 okay. It spirals no, that, out that, of control pretty quickly. Yeah, I, I don't think you're quite on the same page, but that's okay. I just wanted to give you that information. Um, I'm going to go and leave her and try and find Isabel to see if she's a little bit more savvy. Sure. Sorry, let me just ask you. Out of the socialites, who would be savvy? Um, where, let me look at the everything. Uh, Isabel is probably the... She's the one... Um, no, you know what? They're all... Not really intermarried with any of the other noble families. So it would be Mary and Isabel would be the most savvy. They're the oldest. They've got the most experience. After that would probably be Sarah. Clara is most new to the... Um, to this sort of thing. And she's still like the brewer's daughter, mostly. Um... <laughs> Uh, the so women in this family uh, don't have a brain between their heads. Um, I'm going to leave the um, uh, leave it and do it myself then. So I'm going to go to the Gen Halls. You just walk right next door to the Gen Hall estate. Yep. Okay. And it's um, uh, right next door. No mm -hmm. problems getting there. Yep. Yeah, very good. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want me to roll for a random encounter? Nope. No, nope. you don't have to roll to find the door either. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, um, is it? Is there anyone at the door? No, the the outer door you can just open and walk through, um, oh. and then walk right up to the house. All right, I shall do that and knock. And okay, uh, a servant answers the door, and leads you into a small parlor while they go to get whoever it is that you're asking after. Yes, the lady Zara, thanks. Miss Miss Zara, yes. Miss Zara. Uh, the. By, you know, two minutes pass, and Miss Zara comes into the room. Her back is straight. She's got a you know a nice, elegant dress on. Says, ah, Stefan, we're neighbors, yes. and we see each other so rarely. What a pleasure Indeed. it is to have you in my home. Yes, thank you, and thank you for your hospitality. I believe that um, uh, we have a matter to discuss in in private. He waves the servants away, and they shut the doors to the parlor, leaving the two of you in here. Quiet. Hold on. Can I just uh, say that uh, you, your servants are rather um, well, they're, they're rather uh, intuitive, or rather uh, they show a great deal of initiative. I'm sorry. Has there been a problem? Yes, they also don't know their place. 
Well, you let me know which one of my servants has acted out of turn, and I'll have them whipped for you. Well, it was the one that you sent to us earlier, not 20 minutes ago. Excuse me? The, you had a problem that you wanted resolved? And discreetly? Excuse me? Hmm. Now, I, I know that you don't want us to go far, but... Or well, you want to be discreet about the indiscretions, but... Uh, I'm sorry, it's just you might us. have me mistaken for another person, Mr. Stephanie. No, of course not. Miss Zara, we have spoken a few times. You're a lovely lady. I, I hold you in high esteem. Have you been drinking I... again? <laughs> of course. But that is that has not affected my... Uh, I think there's something wrong. I think perhaps I'd better give you the full story, because this might actually affect... Were you planning on heading out of the town today? My mother is. Your mother is? Yes. In that case, it is of some urgency that, that we speak. Is your mother here? No, no, no. Um, I believe she's in the northern market. Right. So, there was a servant this morning, 20 minutes ago, who came up to us saying that they represented your, your estate, and I did not recognize the servant because who recognizes servants? Um, besides the very useful ones, or, you know, well, yes, the very useful ones. Um, and, and then I tell her the story. She stands there, nodding through it all, and goes, well, that it is the appear, most interesting tell, tale. It is. Uh, it would appear that somebody wanted us to mistakenly assassinate your mother. Do you have any enemies? Does your house have enemies? Who uh, would gain from it? Thank you for bringing this matter to us. I will inform my mother and we will take care of this privately. Uh, but I appreciate your coming to me on this matter rather than taking the word of a servant on such a plan. Well, of course, servants, they are, well, they are servants. This one seemed rather uh, forward. I, I do have one question. Hmm. Do you have any proof of this encounter? Uh, no. No, we do not. My word is proof enough. Of course. Um, thank you. However, uh, I appreciate I, your efforts. Uh, how, you however, yes? uh, just, just one thing. I, I certainly would recognize that servant. He definitely stuck out in my mind. A young boy, and I'll describe him as well. Uh, perhaps if your mother desires, uh, we could certainly become aware of the servants of the other house to see if there was another house moving against you. Or perhaps my description would be enough for you to take that further. And why would you do that for us? Um, actually, just out of, out of the game, then, what do we know of the, of the, of the Genthal family like in terms of <laughs> Past relationships, like their personality, that sort of thing, right? Um, you know, they're the like, fifth largest family out of the seven in the area. Uh, they're a little sketchy on who else they're with, but, you know, they tend to be uh, chafing with the people right above them. That's usually the pecking orders. You have issues with the people right above you because you want that next wrong in power. That's generally, broadly speaking, the way fair. it goes. But like character wise, are they just generic nobles? That's all that's to said. Like, yeah, you, know, they, you don't know too much. Same? Yeah, you don't know too much about them as people or their family. They're they're all kind of. Mm -hmm. Um. There's no outstanding traits right now. You might learn. To, you might come to learn of them, but that's part of the. the okay. The story. All right, that, that, that's enough. Um. So, uh, Miss Zara, the uh, the reason why I would extend the hand to you is because while well, your lady's life was threatened, they were going to use us and play us for fools. Hmm. And our house certainly does not appreciate that, regardless of our stature, from not being landed. Well, uh, if there you is... come across this servant boy, I trust that you will arrest him, and we can deal with his fate together. I'm sure we would like to find the people responsible just as much as you. However, I Very. think you must understand that these matters we will handle privately 
and I trust your discretion in this matter will be absolute. Of course. The discretion in this matter would, would suit both of us. Yes. There's no point in, in letting the snake know that you are going to approach it before you strike. She gives you a polite nod and uh, walks towards the door, opens it, and escorts you out, giving you another thanks and a handshake. Um, I, I shall give her a bow, kiss a hand, and... I bid you a fair day. All right. So you get back to your house right around the time that the party comes. In fact, they probably see you walking out of the Gren Hall estate as they come walking around the corner right back towards the house. I, I rush up to them and uh, 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 brother, sister, I, I have urgent news. Uh, what is it? Did you just talk to, who did you talk to? Uh, the lady Zara, uh, the Miss Zara herself. I was about to do that myself. What did she say? She had no knowledge of sending out a servant, and it's her mother who was leaving town. What exactly did she say, though? Exactly that. What more? I don't... I have a suspicion, and I kind of mm. beckon them to come into the house with me. Very well. And once I get in there, I, I say, I think she was trying... I think... She did send the servant, and she wanted us to kill her mother. I saw her face, and uh, uh, while it looked rather masculine, um, <laughs> there was genuine... Uh, she did not know anything. No, I, I'm quite sure that... <laughs> look, think about it. There's no, no reason for an outside party who want us to do this, we would be the only people that gained. No, not at all. Us and... Not not at all. If the, if the head... The house. Not only that, the success of the house, absolutely, I, I agree with you there completely, but also, you know, the petty bickering of our noble families, we are beneath all of that because we have no threat to anyone. In fact, that is a good thing. It, it'd be good if we could perhaps keep it that way. We are immune from the politics besides being used as pawn, but the other families war amongst themselves for jostle for position. It seems that they would have a little bit to gain as well. I'm going to talk to the lady at all. Immediately. Uh, I, she is in the northern market. Yes, I, I was there. I, I, I didn't see her, but I did see uh, people with the Genhall tabard with the carriage. Everything seems to be completely normal. Very well. I, 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 I did speak with Miss Sarah, and uh, we did promise discretion, something which um, you did not do so well with in, with the Lithmans. So, uh, although there were advantages to your style in terms of letting everyone know what we can do, someone needs to keep a watch on the Gen Hall Estate while I'm gone. Uh, hmm. I, I will. I can do that, brother. Or just, we can just get just... one of the women in the house. Maybe your wife could could watch them. Yes, just get an idea of who's going in, who's going out. I'm very suspicious. Uh, are you looking for the seven in particular? Uh, well, yes, he would be a nice one to see, but the lady, or uh, Miss Zara as well. I want to know what she's doing. Very good. I think I have a need to do some gardening on the uh, northeastern corner of our estate. That should be fine. <laughs> okay. Sure. Um, so, is the lady Jen Hall in danger? Well, not from, but from others, do you think? Uh, you guys are kind of. You've walked back into the house by now. I yes. Think. Yeah, um, but but I your... waited first to get into the house before I said anything. Right, right. But you can see kind of out over the top of the wall out front spears marching down the street um and heading down this this pathway could be gen halls could be other people but considering the conversation just that just transpired it appears that soldiers or troops or some sort of armed guards are headed out hmm well you know, does, does that mean i'd have a view from within the state of the uh, of who was leaving the, the gen hall estate i'm sorry repeat that but again uh, does that mean that I would have a view of uh, the Genhul estate and the and the uh, the gates from our estate? 
Uh, yeah, if you're on the second story, you can definitely see their estate and the gates and all that jazz. I think right now you guys are on the first floor. Cool. So you can just so, see so over the, the walls, the spearheads. What you're telling me is I don't actually have to do gardening. Fantastic. No, you can sit inside and drink. <laughs> Fantastic. Or, or whatever else you want. Um, in fact, we even have a map of your house. So we can see <laughs> that... Um, you can head, chill in the workshop or, oops, no, no, a second down the bottom. Uh, there's that small parlor and your bedroom, both of which would look out over the, um, the, the area. Mm -hmm. I, I might go, I might go spend the, the morning playing with, um, uh, what's his name? Oh, the young boy? Marcus. Marcus. Yeah. yeah. In, in the, in the parlor. That sounds good. All right. Cool. Cool. So, yeah. so from the parlor, you can see uh, all the things. Excellent. All right. Rest of the party. Interesting things have transpired. What are you going to do? Luther is getting his nice clothes. He's getting his gray fur cloak. He's getting all gussied up to go see the lady again. Though. Okay. Uh, you are all gussied up indeed. Okay. Well, um, I head over there as soon as I can. Ginger, what are you doing during all of this? So, upon seeing the spears marching mm -hmm. um, from the second floor in my room, can I see how many people there are? Uh, yeah, by the time you get to your room, they're pretty much gone, but it looks like... I guess you could count the spears as they're walking past. Um, yeah. You count five spears. Five people. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fair enough. I'll uh, just wait in the downstairs parlor for someone to come sure. tell me what's up. All right, Luther, you head to the Northern Market after getting all gussied up, yep. um, and you see uh, as you arrive uh, a lot more soldiers now. Originally, there were maybe six around the carriage, just kind of hanging out, and now you see like eleven. Um, and as you walk into the market, you can see Lady Zara herself stepping out, um, followed closely by a well-armed individual. Um, looks like maybe some sort of retainer or something. Uh, and the two of them hop into the carriage while the remaining guards kind of flank the carriage and head southward. Yeah, I, I kind of hurry over there and kind of... I'm not sure if I was just like stand in the way of the carriage to try and talk to the lady. Um, I definitely want to you can to. hail the carriage driver. That's usually a good way to get the attention. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. He stops the carriage for you, uh, recognizing your rank in society. And you're free to approach the carriage and you know, give him a talking to or whatever. Okay, yeah. I, I say I'd like to speak to the lady. Right, right, right. The, one of the guards knocks, you know, announces who you are. A door opens, it's kind of dark inside. The curtains are drawn, giving it this, this dim view. Lady Zara motions for you to step inside. It's her and a, a knight might not be the right term. Maybe he is a knight. He's not wearing heavy armor right now. He's just in like a, a nice padded doublet and has an arming sword across his lap. Mm -hmm. okay, um, they sitting on opposite sides. You can step into the carriage. Okay. I say, uh, I'm sure from the increase in soldiers, you've heard what's going on. Mm, yes, and I appreciate your family's efforts to alert us to these matters. Yes, it bothers me deeply, in fact. Not just because I fear for the safety of your yourself, but also because someone was trying to play us. Hmm. If Do you we have had... any idea who this person might be? No. I We did get a fairly good look at him, but we're not sure who it is at all. Uh, if we had blindly listened to his words, we very well might have all died attacking your carriage or succeeded. Either way, nothing good would have come of it. Quite. I take it you have a purpose for meeting me here. Uh, just, just to make sure the situation is under control, I'm deeply worried by this situation. Yes, it is under control. We have 
plenty of protection, and I think we shall be fine getting to our destination. If you were to be the assassins, I'm sure the rest of the road is fairly clear. But, just in case, we have so. precautions. Yes. Do keep well. your head up. Someone is clearly trying to get rid of both of us. Yes, and I wonder who that might be. Oh, anyway, it's good to see you well. I'll take my leave. She gives you a polite nod. Um, it's a you know knock on the wall behind her, and one of the servants opens the door and step out back into the noisy marketplace. Yep. Um, and she and her carriage move on south over the bridge uh, through the central market and out to the gates. Uh, and I storm back to the estate. Okay. So, why don't we take a break here uh, while our players figure out what they're going to do with all this information, if there's even anything to do right now. Um, and we'll see you guys on the other side of our break. Bye-bye.